Hello YouTube, today I will be showing you how over-the-air updates work on iOS 5. So, here we have an iPad 2 running iOS 5 Beta 3. Right, so, what we will be doing now, Apple released the first ever Beta over-the-air. So, Beta 4, I will be updating from Beta 3 to Beta 4. And I'll show you guys every single detail and every single juicy detail. So, let's start. You open up settings again. You head over to general, as you can tell. And now, again, you have several options, obviously, and you just simply hit software update. It will... Go ahead and check the Apple Cloud for an update. It takes a couple seconds, as you would expect. It is in beta. Okay, so now, as you can tell, it picks up iOS 5 Beta 4. Apple internal, 129 megabytes, right? So, iOS 5 Beta 4, this beta version of iOS 5, contains bug fixes and improvements, and it's the first version available with the Airsoft to update. For more information, visit www.http.apple.com slash iOS 5 slash release notes. This beta version of iOS should not be, or should only be deployed on devices applicated for the iOS 5 software development. So, again, after you're done reading that, if you're a nerd like me and likes to read it, you simply hit download and install. It gives you what appears to be some kind of a beta terms and conditions. It does not look good, so I would imagine Apple will have to change this before. Then you know that this is pre-release confidential crap and that Apple doesn't want you to share it and whatnot. Hit agree and it will begin downloading. So if it will if it does take long, I'll stop the video and then pick up from before. No, about seven minutes. And so it doesn't take that long, you know, I don't want it to take that long. Right, so if it goes down a bit, like two minutes, one minute-ish, I'll pick up on that. You know what? Screw it, I'll, I'll, I'll pick the phone back up once it's done, okay? Bye-bye. Apparently, Apple limit is not allowing people to install the update if you have less than 50% of battery, and I have 42%, right? So, four hours. I highly doubt it's going to take four hours to download an update, but you know, Apple, F you. So, let's connect and see if it's at least going to let me do it once it is connected, and apparently, I'm just going to put settings. Install now, right? Agree. It verifies the update. Oh yeah, and besides this, we'll delete your photo. So if you're going to do this, oh, oh yay, it's doing it. Woohoo, I feel like a, like, like, like a winner the first time in my life. Right, so if you're going to do this, um, note that it's, it will delete your pictures for some odd reason. So yeah, very well, it very much is in beta, the whole update process, as you can tell, and plus the installation process. So it will delete all your pictures and videos on your Photos app. Right. Um, okay. Let's put it on portrait. No, it will not rotate. It'd be cool though. And that's pretty much all you'll be experiencing for the normal installation process, so I'll pause it once again and come back later. Right, it's almost done. And there we go. It turned off. Wow. Apple logo. Behold its beauty. focuses on the reflection but not the actual logo. That's pretty bad. There we go. Oh my god. Right, so the update to be honest wasn't all that quick. I'm, um, I would say, uh, just the same it would take, honestly, to update it on iTunes. And on iTunes, you're doing a full 800 megabyte restore, so uh, it wasn't all that quick, to be honest, but it's buggy. It's still very beta-ish, you could tell by everything, and by all the problems on my iPhone, it actually just failed on my other, my mom's phone, that I was going to show you on my iPhone, 
it just randomly gave me an error saying that the update failed. But fortunately, on this little ability, after waiting like around 45 minutes, stuck on the exact same thing, it finally managed to work. Right. So this will be the first video up on YouTube. As always, I keep that reputation. I like that reputation. So. I don't want you to see my face. Taking a while to put up. Just do the way I'm going to restore it because, you know, I want to. After I just want to do this to show off how awesome. I was going to originally restore it, but, you know, I found out you could do this. There we go. And slide to unlock. All your crap is still on your phone. Photos are erased, unfortunately. And just to verify that it did update successfully, it's because if you're still skeptical, it will not find an update. See? So yeah, this is beta, the new beta 4. It has no new features that have been found and Apple didn't detail. The only new stuff are, they're mainly a bug fixes and I'm guessing they're really big fixes and it's a lot faster. It does seem a lot smoother than before. And uh, yeah, if you like the video, subscribe. Also check out, I will be posting the new one for the iPhone as soon as I can. So yeah, thanks for watching the video. Goodbye little people from Earth.